All right, so in this video, I'm gonna give you guys some safety tips and recommendations for Guayaquil, Ecuador. For those of you guys who are thinking about visiting, keep in mind that many of the things that I'm gonna talk about can be applied in any country. And if you're an avid traveler, you've probably heard these things before. But this video is mainly for the people who probably haven't traveled much. Let me start off by saying that I believe the general consensus is that the most dangerous city in Ecuador is Guayaquil. Now, I didn't really get that sense while I was there. Maybe it was due to the areas I was in. To me, it felt like any other Latin country I've been to for the most part, but I just have to throw that out there. Now, the first safety tip is going to be accommodations. It's going to be the area you decide to stay in. Previously, about a couple of days ago, I made a, a video about the different neighborhoods in Guayaquil. And the summary of the video was basically stay in the northern part of the city. So if you cut Guayaquil in half horizontally, the northern half is considered the safest, the most modern. It's going to have the majority of the attractions and restaurants, whereas the southern half is considered basically the opposite. Less developed, more dangerous. I know whenever I'm in a country, every morning I try to read the news to see what's going on. And usually the majority of the crime that I hear that happens in the city, usually it's in the southern part. So for the first tip, if you're new to Guayaquil, stay in the northern half of the city. Next on the list is transportation. Now the days of hailing a random taxi from the street are pretty much coming to a close with the popularity of ride sharing apps such as Uber, Cabify, and I'm sure there are others. I would recommend using these not only in Guayaquil but just during your travels because I believe they're safer. You're able to reserve a ride from the application where you're able to see a photo of the driver, their name, license plate number, and if something goes wrong, you have a support center to contact, you have someone to complain to. In addition, many of these apps are cashless, so you don't have to worry about if the driver has enough change, you don't have to worry about receiving fake bills or getting scammed. It already has your credit card details, so when the, when the driver arrives, you get in, you get to your destination, you get out, and that's it. And lastly, you don't have to worry about a language barrier because your final destination is already known by the driver. So in, in, in summary, I believe using a ride sharing app is just a win-win-win situation. And then it's more affordable. Next up, tap water is not potable, not only in Guayaquil, but in Ecuador as a whole. So drink bottled water. Some people take it a step further and they don't even brush their teeth with the tap water nor do they cook with it. They use everything bottled. Now this is up to you if you wanna take it this far. This is all gonna depend on your risk tolerance. But again, just keep in mind that the tap water is not potable. Moving along down the list, this next one is a safety tip for the coastal cuisine in Ecuador. So Guayaquil is along the coast and just like other coastal areas in the country, there are three main things when it comes to the food. First one, obviously, seafood. All right, we're near the water. Second one, green plantains. This is gonna come with every dish. But the third one, which some of you guys need to be careful of, uh, peanuts. Many of the sauces and the dishes contain peanuts. So if you have a nut allergy, you need to make that clear when you're in a restaurant. I'm going to touch on this a little bit more in another video. I know it may sound kind of weird, seafood with peanuts, like that mixture, but I'm telling you, it tastes so delicious. These last few safety recommendations that I'm going to speak on, I believe these are the most common that most people probably know about. But I'm just going to touch on them again just for the, you know, the, the two or three people watching who are new to traveling. Keep in mind that Ecuador is battling poverty just like many other countries. What do I mean by that? You don't need to be flashy. You don't need to wear the necklaces, the fancy watches, basically jewelry. Other things like your electronics. You're gonna wanna take pictures and videos, which, which is fine. Just be self-aware. For example, if you're in a tour, you know, you can take photos and pictures and put the camera or phone back into your pocket or into your bag. Just don't wear the camera around your neck. Another tip I would recommend that I think is maybe not very popular to say, but it's people who, and maybe this is because I was in the military and we couldn't do this while in uniform, but that is walking and talking on the phone at the same time. People who do that, I envy you because for me, it's very difficult. It's very uncomfortable. I, I feel like I'm not really focused 
I'm, I'm not aware of what's going on around me. But I would just say my recommendation would be if you're like walking and you're lost, step to the side of the street, pull out your phone, check GPS, and then when you're done, put your phone back in and continue walking. Or if you have a phone call, just stop for a second near a tree under some shade. So to conclude, these are just a few safety tips for Guayaquil, Ecuador. I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys learned something. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.